Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So today I will be playing 2.6 Hawk Cycle and uh, here I will try to give you some analysis about uh, how to play against drill decks and sorry guys for not uploading daily videos and I was busy in something that's why I didn't able to upload. So here I'm back and I will try to upload daily videos guys for you. So here he is playing a drill deck and I'm playing my ice golem like this. And here you can log, so log will take care of all the goblins and the wall breakers as well. So here I'm waiting for the elixir to fill. I can go in with my hog behind ice golem, but I will wait. So here I will go in with my hog on the right side, and here I will put my musky for his fire spirit. I think uh, Muske will be able to take out his Inferno and I think he have Skellies so I will predict his Skellies with my Electro Spirit but he has a Skeleton Army so this is an interesting deck guys so he have Drill right now so whenever your opponent plays Drill in front of your Princess Tower you can place your cannon like this and this can fully counter the Drill and here you can see I just misplaced my log and uh, i placed my log early that allowed his one goblin to stab on my princess tower so here i'm going in with my hog and electro spirit but he have inferno in cycle so he placed his dart goblin and now i will try to distract his dart goblin with my skelly and also i will use my musky as i don't want him to do any damage to my princess tower Okay, so let's see. He have Valk also. So he just blocked my musket with his Valk. Here I'm putting my cannon like this. And then at this point you can see his uh, drill will be fully countered by my cannon. And here I will place my Electro Spirit for his Fire Spirit. I want to fireball his Dart and Inferno. But I will wait. And here I will distract his Dart with my Ice Golem. Okay, so let's see. I will place my musky to take out his inferno and here I will place my cannon like this. So he used his fireball but I will go in with my log in this side as he had the skeleton army and I think our hog will get some damage on his tower. So here I will kite his valk with my ice golem and I will place musky for his drill. Here he missed uh, musketeer and I think our hog will get one shot. Our tower is down to 1200 guys and he is down to 1043 so I will go in with my hog right now and I think he is back to inferno I will fireball his inferno and dart goblin as this will be value for me but inferno is like uh, it take out a hog quite fast due to its damage buff here I'm going in with my hog and I, he have skeleton army for this push and i think our hog will get some damage guys let's see okay so i think hog will take out his tower and this is it guys so ggs to him and let's move on to the next match okay so we are in the next match guys and uh, this is also a drill deck and uh, let's see which variant is this so i'm going in with my hog and let's see if any building he have or not so he placed his mighty miner and guards to defend it but our hog still got one shot which is great for us here i will fireball his uh, all thing as you can see it was a good fireball and our cannon is doing some work so i'm down in elixir right now and uh, i have to wait and see what he is going to do so he is placing his drill and uh, i will use my electro spirit for his baths and I will have to log right now so this was not a good defense guys as I had to spend a lot of elixir but uh, we did prevent some damage and here he also have skeleton giant so let's see I'm going to kite his skeleton giant with my ice golem right now and I will place my cannon for his skeleton giant and his mighty miner I think cannon will take out both of them okay so here i will go in with my hog i think he don't have elixir okay so he have elixir and he 
did defend it quite well. Snowball is quite good against Hog if it is paired with something. It can fully counter a Hog. And here, he again coming in with his drill. So I'm placing my cannon like this and I'm about to lock. Okay, so I'm quite down in Elixir right now. Cannon, Elixir, Golem are quite good against uh, Drill. If we were able to get the Drill at the right moment, then we can fully counter it with a log or only with a cannon like I showed you in the beginning of the match. So here I'm going in with my Hog and he is coming in with his Drill. Sorry, it's not Drill, it's uh, Dark Goblin and his uh, Mighty Miner. So he used his ability and here I'm putting down my cannon for his mighty miner and guards. Okay, so he also pushed with his uh, drill at the same time. So I have to log right now. So he is up by damage and he is coming in with his skeleton giant. So here I'm using my electro spirit for his bats and I'm putting down my cannon for his drill. I don't know why he goes in with his drill at this uh, princess tower as he had an advantage over that i'm going to ignore his dark goblin as i didn't have anything for it and i was too late in my response so sometimes you have to take in damage to give more of it so here you can see our hog got two shots and we are somewhat even in damage right now so here i'm putting down my ice golem for his drill and i will log so he got some damage with his uh, drill and he is cycling quite fast his drill and I was too late in my cannon placement and you can see my cannon is taking out his dart and now I'm going in with my hog on his weak side tower. He is up by I think 600 damage and uh, that was a very bad electro spirit on my part as he logged at a very nice timing. So here he played his dart goal. I will wait and I will place my cannon like this here I have to log and I have to avoid taking any damage but he got some damage on my tower okay so I'm going in with my hog and musky so I think our hog will get one shot okay so we are not in a great situation but we can manage to win guys so I will put on my cannon and I will distract his mighty miner with my skellies so I have to wait and log his drill. Okay, so I think this log is going to work. Okay, so I'm going in with my hog and I will firebomb and I will try to protect his guards but he didn't use his guard. So he was quite smart and I'm going to put down my cannon right now and I think this was a very good cannon on my part. So I'm going in with my hog and I think our hog will get some damage. Let's see. Okay, so this time I got his guard, but uh, our hog didn't got any shot. This is going to be a very, very close match, guys. So let's see. Uh, here, I have to log his drill and uh, his dart goblin is locked onto my tower. Let's see, guys. Okay, so his dart goblin was about to take out my tower, but I think uh, we just need one more fireball. Okay, so this is it, guys. We are in tiebreaker and we managed to win this one by very small health okay so i'm moving into the next match and let's see what he's playing so starting with skellies from the back and here i have hog but in my next card so i want to go in with my hog so he placed his bomber now i will not send my hog i will log here to get the value this was a very good log value as it hit Dark Prince and Bomber. Here I will use my Electro Spirit for his Dark Prince, Bomber and Bats. Electro Spirit is good in these kind of situations. That's why I use Electro Spirit. So many people like say in the comments like why you are using Electro Spirit, why you are not using my Spirit. As we must remember, if we are from the trophy range of 6,000 to 7,000 or uh, 7,000 to 8,000, a lot of people are playing NATO and Fisherman. So that's why they are going to get that 
power activation anyhow like we can't stop that so electro spirit is very good against the swamp and in my view this is not a swamp meta but still we can use electro spirit and here you can see our opponent is playing electro giant so i'm putting down my cannon and i scroll him like this so he used his lightning on top of our cannon so here i'm back to my cannon but i will not use it as i'm going to log as i didn't have elixir to use it so here he also got some damage on top of our tower so we are back to our hog as hog is the next card but i think he have a cannon in hand so we have to wait and we are about to hit 2x elixir and i think he is gonna push with his electro giant so i'm placing my cannon for his electro giant and placing cannon in the early is uh, an advantage for us as we can cycle back to our another cannon if he used uh, his uh, lightning on our first cannon so here you can see that i'm placing my musky and he used lightning on top of our cannon and we are back to another cannon and at the same time we are pushing with our hog so here i'm going to log his dark prince and his bomber in this matchup he didn't have the needle so which was a good thing for us okay so here i'm going to use log on top of his bomber and i think musky will take out his dark prince and i'm going in with hog but i think he is back to his cannon and let's see our hog will get any damage or not okay so it got one shot which is great and musky also got one shot on bomber which is great for us here i will log his bomber and then i will place cannon for his electro giant he placed his bomber in front of his electro giant and here i think i have to log his dark prince okay so i'm back another cannon and here i'm trying to cycle back my musky okay so here you can see that uh, i'm pushing with my hog at the same time here i will use my log on top of his bomber he used his lightning on my musky we are in good damage lead and here i'm going in with my hog once again so this is the power of hog cycle guys you can just cycle infinite hogs at any time and i think our hog is going to get one shot okay so i'm placing my musky like this i know he is going to lightning this but we have uh, ice golem for his uh, dark prince here i will log and uh, i'm going to get his dark prince as well and i think he is going to lightning once again here i will use my fireball on top of his bomber as this is going to be a value i know this is not a positive elixir trick but still this is a value and here i'm going to cycle back another fireball and right now i just need two logs and like or one fireball and this is it guys so gg's to him and i hope you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button if you like the video and see you in the next video bye bye guys